see, these are kind of like what I'm wanting to get. But it's got to be plastic, like soft plastic. Oh, here they go. So I guess we'll take the black one, because it's cheap. And then a little one. This is the Goober Frog. Look at that. $1.96 special. You normally, uh, you go out? Uh, normally I'll go around 17, so about 5 o'clock. Okay. And then I'll stay until the sunset. All right, and what color Senkos? Uh, this is what I've been using the most right here. Okay. So, nice. it's been working really well. I've been going with the Texas rig. Yeah. It's doing really well. Uh, that was five pounds, 5.4. 5 5.4, and you cut it off the minnows? Off minnows. Nice. All right, what was your name? Uh, Dylan. Dylan, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you, man. So uh, here at Walmart, just picking out a couple of lures for tomorrow's top water bite. And uh, I think I got what I need, so uh, stay tuned. We'll be out there in the morning. morning today we are at Lake Pope Elijah's already launched I'm getting ready to launch myself uh, as of recent we have not been able to catch many fish at all so we made an attempt it's a halfway attempt to get out here early to do a little topwater bite so that's what we're gonna be doing I went to Walmart caught some God, I got some listen to me I went to Walmart bought some frogs and that's what we're gonna be trying to go for I'm gonna give it a good six hours hopefully we'll be able to catch something and uh, just fish a lot of this stuff right over here these uh, mats of grass I believe there are some lilies further back into the shallow area there's uh, a lot of submerged grass in this lake and I'm hoping to catch a big one today guys I mean I'm going for broke again I said that last week and I honestly meant it. I'm meaning it again today. Uh, I'm kind of tired of catching nothing but tiny little fish. Enough's enough. It is 7 a.m. Get this top water bite going. Oh, you got one, Elijah. Yeah, you got one. Take it slow, take it slow. Take it slow, good job, son. Nice and slow. Pickerel. <laughs> so that's a good sign uh that's the start of the fishing day barely barely been fishing at least what two minutes if that and that was his first cast hooked into a pickerel i mean we'll even go for those pickerels let me hurry up put the big camera on the gopro and stop filming with this iphone hopefully start catching some fish for you guys the cloud cover is going away. I need to hurry up and just tie a frog on and, and get at it. Alright fellas, I got, I bought three frogs. So yesterday I bought this one. This one's a man's. Uh, in all honesty, it looks like garbage. I'm, I'm not prone to talking trash about any companies or anything like that. They're lures. But I mean, this is just straight garbage. The hook is not even positioned right. I fumbled with it last night trying to get it all situated and no matter how many attempts I made at trying to situate this lure, the plastic correctly, I just couldn't get it taken care of. All right, so that's the man's. This one right here, I brought the little packaging for it. I forgot the name of it, but this is like a really cheapy frog, a micro. I'm gonna use that for the spinning reel. Uh, I'll let you know in the description below what this is. You can pick it up at Walmart. That's where I bought these three frogs from. And then the other one, because my daughter saw it, it's by uh, Cream Lures. This thing just looks all kinds of crazy. We'll see if it catches fish. I've also got plastics as the fail safe because if the topwater bite isn't productive or producing anything, then we'll switch over to the plastics. Elijah's fishing the plastics. I'm going to do the more technical style fishing and uh, wish me luck. I'm going to start out with this. Man, this thing is just, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. All right, 
Lijay, here we go, getting ready for the first cast. Okay guys, here we go, first cast. I'm gonna turn you around just so that you can see the action for the top water bite. I'm gonna be standing up and hopefully the mic is still gonna pick up my dialogue. So nothing on this cat. All right, let's cast to the back of that. Oh, I got a bite. That pad. Nothing again. Yeah, this frog is atrocious. All right, I'm not wasting any more time with this man's frog. Uh, my honest opinion, only fishing with it for about 15 minutes, it's garbage. It is not waterproof, and it could just be because the body is just all jacked up from being inside that packaging. But, uh, I mean, honestly, the package was perfectly fine. I think it's just their quality control when they did package it. Uh, something's wrong with the hook and the plastic body is just all jacked. So I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna put on one of the other small lures and hopefully it's gonna be weedless because this thing is not weedless. Dad, my lure's jacked. Fix it. No, it's like it's rich. Okay, then bring it over here and we'll get another one on there. Yeah, I honestly don't have any expectation of this thing catching a fish whatsoever. <laughs> this thing was like a dollar something. It is Crap. the craziest looking lure. And when we bought it, I mean, it was, we bought it, you know, just for some comedic humor because this thing is just crazy. Now, if it does catch a fish, oh my gosh. What if it caught like all of them? <laughs> Go do your thing. Well, at least it looks like a frog. All right, that's gonna be my personal challenge, Elijah, to catch a fish off of this thing. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Guys, I'm gonna have to rename my channel to... Oh, 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 oh. No. Something came up and hit at it. No. Yes. I kid you not, it was a bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I had a bite and I freaking launched my thing out of the water. That's okay. I cannot believe a fish just came up to hit that. And the camera wasn't facing it either. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to rename my channel, like trying to catch fish, something like that. All right. Oh, oh, you got it. No. Oh my God, Elijah. Oh. Oh my Guys, I cannot believe I caught something with a cream lure. Oh gosh, it's a bass. Yep. Yeah. And the streak is over. The streak of not catching decent sized fish is over. This cream lure, <laughs> I cannot believe this. It was such a terrible. The cream lure caught a bass. The cheapest one of all of them. I gotta them. get myself on top of myself. All right. Where is it even stuck? It's stuck to the light. That's a beautiful bass, guys. It's been so long since I've been able to catch one of these. I, I was worrying about bass? not being able to do this for you guys and catch something decent. Here we go. First largemouth, beautiful little thing. Mwah. Thank you, buddy. Ew. Sicko. Oh. <laughs> Should I try and do it myself? All right, this next cast, I'm definitely going to give you guys a look at where I'm casting. And I'm just gonna cast right alongside the bank. So here we go. I'll give you a close up look at this ridiculously looking frog. Cream lures, get it at Walmart. I believe it was close to $2. It's just a regular, I don't know, it looks like an eagle claw weedless hook. This, it's so ridiculous. I cannot believe this. I've been going at it for about an hour now got a couple of bites a couple of blow-ups nothing that is spectacular but uh the fact that it could actually bring in a large mouth for me <laughs> that's awesome i'm gonna tie on the last one that i have and we'll see if that last one that i've got the micro frog see what it can possibly do so once i'm done with the frogs Dang, we will start that, that fishing normal. Right here. What? I keep on getting bit right here. 
It's probably small bluegills, big guy. Ooh, did you see that? What? There was a fish that went oh, after it. Yes. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely, barely hooked. You barely got him. Oh, yes, guys. Who barely got him on the outside of the mouth? Man, oh man. It's getting a little bit bigger. The baby bass. The original baby bass fluke. A one aught hook. Look at that. Nice little chunk. Great looking fish. Super healthy. Let's get him back inside this water. Get bigger, buddy. Keep fighting. Got him. Got another one, fellas. Got another one. I don't know. Ooh. It's a nice size one. Yeah, it's not huge, but it's nice. Yeah, it's still a good one. Oh, inside the mouth. No, 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 no. Wait, open your mouth, open your mouth. Got him. That's a good one. Yeah, it's nice. It's a really good size one. Two and a half pounds. Uh, see the length. Ah, yes. Look at, look at this, guys. Ugh. Look at that. Whew, look at the lateral line, you see it? Hmm. Beautiful bass, getting bigger. Oh man. This guy came, hit it, jumped, went back under. Great little fight. What'd you do? In what? Getting some twitches right now. Got him. Looks like a pickerel. Nope, it's a bass. Yeah. No, it's a bass. I thought it was a pickerel. Another decent sized largemouth, guys. This one's about 15 inches, 14, 15, pound and a half, right on the verge of two pounds. Okay, gotta put this away. Uh, it's time to go home. No. Why? All right, start coming in steady, slow and steady. Come on. That line straight. Twitch. I mean, there you go. When you twitch, you keep that that uh, reel moving, so you can take up the slack, and then that way you will definitely feel the bite. As long as you keep reeling in you're gonna keep that line tight and the minute they bite it you'll be able to feel it that's one uh, yep yep that's one that's one you got him you got him you got him pickerel pickerel hey. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah's first pickerel, guys. God, he's flipping out. I'm, I'm gonna get him off. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect hook set, right in the mouth. Look at that. Noise it made. Chain pickerel. You want to know why they call them chain pickerel? 
because of the design. It looks like chains, yeah. huh? Like chain mail? Looks cool. Chain pickerel, guys. Bye. There he goes. It's funny. It's like, <laughs> He's like, <"Bleh." laughs> no, excuse me. So if you can remember that technique to try to just brush nice and steady as you're bringing the lure back in and you can brush it atop of the uh, grass down there. There you go, there you go. Oh my God. The, oh God. What bass. is it? A bass? Bass. Okay, okay. The, oh my God, that's big, Elijah. Bring him over to the other side of me. All right. Oh my God, the biggest bass of the day. Holy cow. <laughs> I think he's got that technique down, guys. Oh my gosh. He just learned the technique and that's it. You get this, you get that lure down in the strike zone. He's been fit, whoa, watch yourself. Don't tip yourself over. You get this, uh, that lure down there in the strike zone. He's been fishing all day long. We've been out here for four hours now and he's got two fish back to back casts. Holy smokes, beautiful bass. Big one, Liza. Mm -hmm. There he goes. All right, there you go. Keep tension on him constantly, okay? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's still a fish, baby. Bring him in. No, 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 no. Don't, let, don't, don't ever let up on the slack. I mean, uh, the line, okay? If you give him slack, he's gonna... No, I didn't, I didn't undo it. Okay, he'll unhook him. Hey, buddy, you got me all wet. <laughs> he's so small. Yeah. Tiny little bit. You need to learn how to unhook your own fish, too. Okay, see like that right there? See the hook inside there? Yeah. Shake it. Just try to get him off and then back inside the water as quick as we can. See you later, little dude. Look at that. Little dude got hit by something. Where? Oh. Somebody tried to make lunch of this guy. Probably pickable. It was soon too, because look, it's on both sides. That's yeah. a big freaking teeth marks. Good oh, lord. Yeah. See ya. All right, buddy. You've had a rough life. Get back down there. Be careful. What if he just swam right back around and bit it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a dangerous world down there. All right, what we're doing right now is we're going along parallel with the bank, fishing anywhere from nine to 10 feet of water. There is grass down there, right off the bottom, about two feet deep, uh, from, or not two feet deep, it's two feet off the bottom. So Elijah's casting, he's doing a countdown. It's a two or three 1,000 countdown, and then a nice, slow, steady retrieve with the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner's got a Berkeley power bait minnow, and he's just bringing it in with very subtle twitches, trying to teach him a few things that I know, the techniques that I use. Just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you is for real. No, I'm not. Yeah, you I'm were. kidding. No, you were. No, I'm not even joking. Yeah. I, I was kidding. You were super scared. I thought he was going <laughs> to He was going to bite you. I wasn't scared, Dad. It's obviously a fly. No, it's not. Yeah. You were scared. Elijah was scared, guys. <laughs> oh scared. my gosh. I've never seen such a baby. I wasn't scared. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna end the video. We've had a great day. We finally got back into some big largemouth. Elijah caught his first pickerel. I saw a couple tr uh, crappie chase my little fluke, and then we had some perch and bluegills just tapping the tails, ripping our tails. Uh, the rain's coming in. If you just saw the uh, camera angle as it was facing the bow of the boat, you could see that it's really, really gray skies and uh, we got to get make our way back to the launch and get back in before the the bottom falls out. But uh, I want to appreciate, or I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all the support that you guys show me. And uh, till next time, fellas, tight lines.